In this video, we will discuss half reactions and joining them together to form a full redox couple. So here, um, a battery uh, or any type of electrochemical cell will consist of a redox of a cathode, which is where reduction occurs, and an anode. Anode is where oxidation occurs. So here we have a zinc, zinc plus two couple. So zinc going to zinc plus two. So let's go ahead and write that down here. So the zinc couple is zinc going to zinc plus two. Let's go ahead and balance that with two E minus. Let's check out the voltage of that zinc going to zinc plus two. Now realize here that all of these are reduction half reactions. So if you want the oxidation half reaction, you have to flip the sign, right? All of these are gaining electrons, gaining two electrons, gaining two electrons. So if you want the oxidation version of these half reactions, you uh, flip the sign. Right? These are all reduction half reactions. All of these represent uh, cathodes. So in the problem, we have zinc going to zinc plus 2. And so um, where is that here? Okay, that's right here. Zinc going to zinc plus 2. Um, we're going to have to flip it. So it's going to be positive 0.76 volts. And then the other one is copper going to copper plus 2. So we have copper going to copper plus two. Obviously, um, one of these has to flip. Um, otherwise, you can't have a successful couple if they're both losing two electrons. One has to gain electrons. The other has to um, lose those electrons. Otherwise, it will not be a couple. But let's go ahead and find the reduction potential here. And it's copper plus two. Um, here it's copper going to copper plus two. So. <coughs> Here we have copper going to copper plus 2, so we got to flip this. It's minus 0.34 volts. So obviously, to have a successful battery or any type of electrochemical cell, this has to be positive in value. We cannot have anything that's negative voltage. That's essentially a dead battery. So we have to reverse one in order to maintain positivity. And uh, it's easy to see that if you flip this half reaction, make it a reduction half reaction, uh, then you will still get this to be a positive voltage. So leaving this the same, let's rewrite it as zinc goes to zinc plus 2 plus 2e minus. Let's flip this second half reaction so that it's uh, exactly the reverse. Copper plus 2 plus 2e minus goes to copper. Okay, this is zinc solid and copper solid. This is positive 0.34 volts. Uh, this uh, was untouched. Positive 0.76 volts. Uh, the two electrons cancel. Here we lost two electrons, so that's oxidation. This is the anode. Here we gained two electrons by flipping this, so that's the uh, reduction and also known as the cathode. So here we have the anode and the cathode, and we add this up together, we get 1.10 volts. And that's a successful battery. And we have copper plus two plus zinc. The copper plus two is going to copper solid the zinc uh, is going to zinc plus two. All right, so here is our equation under standard state conditions. Remember standard state, you have that superscript not. Very specific set of conditions. Standard state conditions actually um, uh, one molar, one atmosphere for gases, um, 25 degrees C. Standard state, do not confuse this with non-standard state. So here's the equation. Right here, copper aqueous going to copper solid, zinc solid going to zinc plus 2, and then the corresponding voltage associated with that is 1.10 volts.